Alright, welcome back to another 90 seconds or so of me talking about some random beer I bought. Uh, this one is the Creme Brulee Milkshake IPA. It has a great beer taste. Now, I mean good, because it's a beer, but I kind of bought this so it would taste kind of like not entirely a beer. Partially gelatinated, low dairy, beer based beverage. So it's a drink, custard, toffee, thick. I can't actually, I'm going to have to, I can't read this fucking yellow print. 1.8 standard drinks. It's unconventional, low bitterness, rich mouthfeel, protein, rich grains. Everyone loves a good proteiny mouthfeel, don't they? Uh, new world hops, as opposed to the old fucking world. I don't know. Vanilla, milk, sugar, creaminess, sweet finish. Cool. Let's give this a try. going to come over here. We'll crack it open. Last video I did was not a graceful pour at all, so we're just gonna do a quick time lapse. Yeah, as you can see, that's just fucking fantastic, isn't it? All right, um, kind of an orangey color. Um, definitely looks thick, just looking at it. Um, it's the first one I've had in a while that wasn't a stout, so give this a try. It, it definitely smells sweet, like, yeah, uh, we'll see. Very fizzy, very sodery, like the, uh, similar to the mango one I had in the first batch. Um, not much of a mango taste, but don't really expect it to have one. Um, it does, yeah, it's kind of really just a beer taste, but with a creamy finish, which I guess is pretty much what they said it would be. I don't taste, it doesn't taste sweet. It definitely still tastes like a beer. But, um, yeah, they've definitely delivered on mouthfeel, which is interesting, because I really didn't think... You could get a mouth feel out of a beer, but uh, yeah, not bad. Um, wouldn't mind drinking more of these. Not sure I'd order it again, but cause, just because it's not really different enough. Um, yeah, drink some more of it.